Hi, hello and good morning. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Anna and I am a third year English student at the University of Cambridge. It is a tradition of mine to do these end of term vlogs. I also do the beginning of term vlogs, which you can also check out on my channel. I do this in order to try and represent how different each week can be at Cambridge University. It is so changeable all the time. There are certain things that stay the same throughout term, like the timings of lectures and things like that, but like, I feel like I'm doing something different every single week. So yeah, I want to accurately represent that. Anyway, it is the last official week of Lent term, which is the second term in Cambridge. It's split up into three terms. And so after this week, I have only got Easter term left, which is terrifying that I only have one term left of my degree and it's exam term. But we're trying not to think about that too hard. And so most finalists will stay over the Easter break and revise, work on dissertations and things like that. So it's not really like an official end and I'll be moving out like it was in the first and second year. It's much more like, okay, this is the end of official teaching. You're kind of on your own to study now. <laughs> Which is like fine, but I just wanted to explain that that's what's going on. So it's week eight because the terms are in eight weeks and I don't know why I had to pause to think about that you can tell my brain is so tired this is when term starts to wind down when series of lectures starts to end when I have my last supervisions for papers and things like that but there are also some fun things going on because it's the end of term and it's time to celebrate that so yeah <laughs> excuse my rather ill sounding voice I have not been well lately and that would be why um I have spent this morning napping <laughs> I had a lion I literally I set an alarm for like nine and proceeded to snooze it three times and then decided to just cancel it and go back to sleep which is a good job because I have a busy rest of the day but I mean fantastic start to the beginning of the video but a realistic representation of week eight can be like when you're just so exhausted by the end of term. So I'm currently off to the Corpus Playroom, which is one of the theatres here in Cambridge, to sort out the headshots for the final show that I'm publicity designing for this term. It's called Soul and it is a student written play and I'm very excited for it. <laughs> My friend Maddie and I like to put little treats in each other's pigeonholes and I decided to get them their favourite cheese straws and some daffodils. It is absolutely pouring it down and I am so good but I am currently running across town and had the quickest lunch as I've been walking to go to a seminar for my practical criticism paper which is a required paper for third years. again from under my umbrella walking in the rain i am now off to reading competition it is a chaucer reading prize competition and i had to select one of the passages from chaucer that we were given and i've picked an extract from Troilus and Cressida, and i am performing it and it's like a whole event and i'm quite excited for it and i'm hoping i do well so wish me luck Walking next to a road, so I'm sorry if there's lots of noise from the cars. I'm not sure if you can see me, but I'm very excited to say that I came second in the Chaucer Reading Prize. Everyone was absolutely fantastic, frankly, they were all so good, and I can't believe I came second. Ah! I am now off to the Fitz Society Love Art After Dark Night, which is one of my absolutely favourite things that gets put on every turn at the end of turn. It's basically the museum is open late, hence the name. They have live music, they have poetry reading, they have drawing classes, they have so much going on. It's so exciting. It feels like I'm in Night at the Museum. It's always so fun. So I was very excited to get tickets to go to this time as well. 
back I took a little bit of time to unwind, relax and to do some self care. So I just went to pick up the book that I am reading currently for my medieval supernatural paper which is my choice paper for this term. I forgot that I had it in my tote bag while I was walking around and my tote bag got absolutely soaked and rather devastatingly my book, I don't know if you can see, it got quite destroyed by the water. This, as a bookworm, this is devastating. I hope you can all appreciate how painful this is for me. It is so sad. But yeah, I'm now going to read some of this and try not to cry about the damage. Yeah. <laughs> So I started off this day with therapy and I go to a therapy session every single week and would highly recommend and then went back to bed, read for a bit and then I worked on designing the headshots that I went to go and take yesterday. Things like therapy are so helpful but they are very emotional and heavy sometimes and so I really just needed to take the rest of the day off so I did some activities that I find calming and nice. I've been a little bit obsessed lately with this colouring book that I actually got from the Fitzwilliam Museum. It's Medieval Marginalia to be coloured in from a bestiary and I've done several of them. It makes me happy. It is rather time consuming but like in a good way. Like I actually feel like I'm resting when I do it and I find it very calming. I had some homemade soup for dinner but I managed to lose the footage of me making it annoyingly so you'll just have to take my word for it and then I did some admin tasks, checking and responding to emails before curling back up in bed and finishing this book. because I need to find a blazer as I have, very excitingly, got an interview on Tuesday for a librarianship, which I am super, super excited for and I really want to go well. I also just fancied going on a walk, trying to refresh myself while the sun is out, so. So this footage does not do justice to how many times I walked out of the shop and back into the shop and into so many other shops because I am so indecisive. So finding that blazer literally took hours. I'm not even joking. I also had a wander around the market because I simply cannot resist and had a coffee and went on a walk through this park which is called Christ's Pieces. I then mustered up the courage to go to Specsavers which is something that I have been putting off and I've tried going in there several times to pick out new glasses. Ended up going with the same ones I already owned just with new lenses because I realised the task felt so difficult because of the change so I just stuck with the same thing. I then had a really awkward pocket of time and realised I had a book in my bag so I went to my favourite cafe and did some note taking from this book and no I was not expecting to buy two hot drinks out today. So I ended up spending way more time in town than I thought I would today but I actually have a meeting now which is actually quite close to here it's in old court for the jcr um committee which i am on uh, which you may know if you've seen my other videos and it's called the ucs confusingly it is not the cambridge union it's the clare union but yeah i have that meeting now
So I think I got maybe one or two hours of sleep total last night. I could not get to sleep and then when I did, I woke up less than an hour later and just couldn't get back to sleep again. So I just kind of let in bed and watched Netflix. When it got to a more reasonable time, I made some homemade ginger shots because I thought it might help with my cold and then probably went back to bed with a cup of tea and did some reading. When I could finally muster up some semblance of energy, I took myself to my college library, which is, to be fair, only two minutes outside of my door, and I did a practice essay for the practical criticism paper, as that was the task I was set for this weekend. And then I wanted to work on my dissertation, but honestly, I wrote maybe a paragraph before giving up and going back to my room to do some colouring and watch a movie. For me personally, my room has got a bit too messy for me to be able to function in it properly. So I am just working on doing smaller parts of it. So putting away books, putting away art supplies, things like that. So in true me fashion, I'm currently running very late to a formal. I am going to a formal at Corpus College, very excitingly, with the rest of the UCS committee. It's like a swap with the Corpus committee. And beforehand, I'm also seeing my friend Theo, my college spouse, performing in the choir at Corpus, which is really exciting because I've never seen them sing before. So that should be lovely. from Corpus. A lot of the other UCS members stayed and went to the college bar but it was actually inaccessible for me due to my disability. So I'm going back to my room and that is one of the harsh realities of Cambridge is that a lot of things because the buildings are so old are not yet as accessible as they really should be but I still had a good time. <laughs> shopping I made myself a coffee and sat down to write my essay for my supernatural paper and I did a bit of reading of Dante's Purgatorio and then got to writing and I actually got it finished and it's probably because I did a plan for this like halfway through term originally so I just finished and handed in the last essay that I have this term as you may know in Cambridge for the English faculty we do a weekly essay for our papers and everyone I know who's taking my paper has said that this is going to be our last weekly essay ever for our undergrad so I've not been told this officially but you know we can be we can be excited about that now off to a seminar actually in the history of art department because I was sent it by a supervisor who thought I might be interested in it because it's on like medieval art and I'm very interested in material art, material culture, manuscripts, things like that. So that was much more architecture heavy than I thought it was going to be and I am absolutely not an architect. Like there were graphs, there were tables, it went a lot over my head, but it was very interesting. It was about cathedrals. I'm glad I went, and I really like that Cambridge has all these opportunities. You go to lectures from different departments. How cute is this? My friend got me this lovely card, and it says, like, congratulations from the tour surprise, and like, good luck surviving week eight. And some Percy Pig sweet. And if you know me, you know how much I freaking love Percy Pig. And this is just a little reminder that the small things can go a long way. Just just be thoughtful about your friends and check up on them, check in with them, uh, remind them that they're loved and thought about and it will make a huge, huge difference because this has 
it's changed my mood so much and it was just so nice to see it in my pigeonhole so yeah <laughs> So I have now got my interview, I'm so nervous about it, but also really excited because I would absolutely love to have this position. So like, there's a balance there, you know? Once I got back from the interview, I did some editing of my first dissertation, which is my medieval dissertation. And then I made a batch of homemade soup, which is something I do every week, and then read a couple of chapters of this book. So, I'm not gonna lie, I like to keep it real with you guys, as you know, about what it's like to be disabled and at university, and the honest truth is that I am absolutely exhausted and in a lot of pain. And I tried to, like, lay in bed and read and it's just not working and I'm trying to be better at like if I can't do tasks and I need to rest to actually let myself rest and not beat myself up over it so I am simply going to just lay here and a either try and sleep or b watch a film or something uh but not anything that takes too much brain power I mean obviously it sucks but if my body is telling me I need to stop then I need to stop so I'm now on my way to my very last supervision for the medieval supernatural paper which as I've said before is my choice paper for this term and I have a coffee to power me through because I'm really tired in case you don't know supervisions are very small group teaching and for English it is highly responsive to your weekly essay and I think that is a really rich and helpful resource to have. Like over my time in Cambridge, I've come to enjoy them more, see them less as like a test and more as an exercise, which is obviously what they are. <laughs> After the supervision, my supervision partner invited me for an impromptu Jack's gelato and I could not resist, so we went for that, which was really nice. I then went to my college library and did more of the revision of my medieval dissertation. This is actually a very long-winded process, particularly with footnotes. So I just had some lunch and I am now heading off to another supervision, my second of the day, which I promise is not normal, but you know, end of term, everything kind of gets crushed together. I would say it's my last supervision of term, but it technically isn't because I have at least two more for my dissertation. So yeah, but anyway, this one is for my practical criticism and critical practice class. And instead of being in a different college, like my one this morning, this one is in Clare. So my college. I then went back to the library and the librarians had some free snacks. So I went and chatted to them and had that. I then continued on the revision work that I started earlier that day. In the evening, I went to the Corpus Playroom with my friend Maddie and we went to go and see the show that I publicity designed for. And I found out that the writer actually had painted my poster design on a jacket, which was super cool. So I appreciate that I'm a little bit more dressed up than usual for this outro. That is because tonight I actually have the Benefactors Dinner, which is a thing at my college, which is where the people who won awards in the last exams have a fancy dinner it's just a really nice opportunity to celebrate that is the end of this video i hope you've enjoyed watching as ever with these videos do please take it with a pinch of salt because my week is never going to look like your week it's never even going to look like another week that i have terms are always different papers are always different i think actually that might have been the end of my lectures ever in my undergrad um, which is why there weren't really any in this video, but there are in previous vlogs. 
but yeah in any case i hope you've enjoyed watching please do let me know if there's any videos you would like to see particularly over the next couple of weeks if you're new around here please do subscribe and if you've liked this video then please do give it a big thumbs up that is it for now so goodbye you know just what you do you do to me play my emotions like a pair of puppet strings did it ever occur to you my heart's more than a toy please go easy on me baby